The most important form of seed dispersal in tropical regions is the ingestion and excretion by vertebrate animals. This process is called endozochery. Plants surround seeds with an edible, nutritious fruit and may advertise the presence of such a good food resource by using colour or smell. Birds and mammals are the most important seed dispersers in the tropics, but a wide variety of other animals can transport viable seeds. The percentage of tree species dispersed by endozoochery can reach over 90% in some tropical rainforests. Mammals eat fruits and defecate the seeds. Birds such as toucans or guans often eat whole fruits and regurgitate the seeds. By spreading their favourite fruiting plants across their territory, these animals act like gardeners of the forest. Spider monkeys and some duende species specialise in eating the fruits of big, valuable timber trees. To avoid predation, the seeds must germinate quickly, and they do not unless the outer layer of the seed has been softened. Only by passing through the primate's digestive system will this happen. For the plant, seed dispersal makes only sense when the seeds are ready to be planted. Therefore, many trees advertise the ripeness of their seeds by letting the fruits reveal appetising colours. This kind of signalling to the animals when the fruit is ripe by changing its colour is considered to be a form of communication. The fruit colours match the specific colour vision spectrum of the most important seed distributing animals. To a lesser extent, this also is true for fruit odours and the range of smell of the animals. Myrmecocori is seed dispersal by ants. It occurs worldwide, but is especially important in forests of the temperate zone and in dry subtropical forests. Over one third of spring flowers in temperate forests are planted by ants. Most Myrmecocorus plants produce seeds with external ileosomes, a term for nutritious food bodies that are attractive to ants. Foraging workers carry seeds back to the ant colony, where the ileosome is fed to the ant larvae. Once the ileosome is consumed, the seed is usually discarded in underground middens or ejected from the nest. The plants benefit because the seeds get a nutrient-rich seed bed and the aggressive ants keep seed predators away. Animals can have a double role, being primarily seed predators, but still helping the plant to disperse. Oak woodpeckers and many duendes engage in hoarding in caches, thereby protecting seeds against other seeds' predators. The seed dispersal by seed-caching animals is called sinzuokery. As not all cached seeds are found again or not all hoarded seeds are eaten, the plant also profits by being able to germinate in new places. Agoutis, house cat-sized rodents in tropical lowlands, carry seeds around in their mouths and bury them for times when food is scarce. They also habitually steal seeds from the caches of other agoutis and bury them further away. In such a way, seeds can be dispersed over considerable distances. Root duendas hoard sweet potatoes in underground caches. As not all sweet potatoes are consumed, new plants can easily sprout from the root tubers. Similarly, cocoa pods harvested by duendes are often only partly consumed. The scattered seeds can germinate and grow into new cocoa trees. Diplockery is seed dispersal by a sequence of two or more phases each involving a different dispersal agent. The first and second phases of diplocory offer different benefits to plants. Phase 1 dispersal often results in the colonisation of habitat patches far from the parent plant. A mammal might eat fruits and defecate the seeds at a distance form the parent. Phase 2. Dispersal often moves seeds to microsites, where the probability of seedling establishment is very high. 
A dung beetle might take dung of the mammal and form a ball. By rolling the ball away and hauling it underground, the seeds in the dung travel a second time. The dung beetle's plan for those little poop pills is that they will feed its larvae. But the larvae use only half of the brood ball, so there is plenty of nutritious matter left for seeds to germinate in a safe place. Big seeds produced by many tropical trees were once ingested and then defecated by huge mammals such as gomphotheres or giant ground sloths. They could disperse the seeds over large distances and distribute their favourite food trees along their migration routes. But most of the megafauna was hunted to extinction by human invaders more than 10,000 years ago. By taking over the role of the large Pleistocene mammals in dispersing these large seeds, Scatter hoarding small mammals may have saved these tree species from extinction, but tropical and subtropical forests are under constant attack by humans. Often, the first step of human invasion is to build roads to access resources and to kill all animals nearby that are big enough to make a meal. Defornation is leading to the infamous silent forests. Few seed dispersers that able to disperse large seeds survive. This will alter the species composition of the forests and hamper their ability to store carbon, thereby making global heating worse. In nature, everything is linked to everything else. Music